Hi guys, today I'm showing you how to make these super cute funfetti cake balls. These are so easy to make and would be great to take to a party. So to start you want to get some sponge, you can either buy some from the shop or use any of the recipes in the playlist above and you want to crumble that into small breadcrumbs. And I'm just using my fingertips to crumble that into the bowl. Just want fine pieces. Once you have your fine breadcrumbs, you then want to add in your buttercream. You want to add this in smaller sections because you can always add more and not less. So I'm just going to grab a small bit of my buttercream and add that in. And using my wooden spoon, I'm just going to mix that all together. I just need a little bit more buttercream, so I'm just going to add that in. You'll be able to tell if you've got the right consistency because it will all start coming together. So once you've got your desired consistency, it's time to add in the sprinkles. So I've got some really bright coloured hundreds and thousands, and I'm just going to sprinkle them into the mixture. Look at that, pretty. You can add as much or as little as you would like. I like the pop of colour, so I'm going to add quite a few. I also like the crunch as well. It gives a nice crunch. So once you've finished stirring in all of your sprinkles, next step is to grab a small teaspoon and we're just going to create some little balls. Up to you how big or small you would like them. With clean hands, I'm just going to roll it into a ball. And once you have your ball, you just want to place it onto a baking tray lined with greaseproof paper. Once you have all of your little balls, you want to place them into the fridge to help them firm up. So my funfetti balls have now firmed up in the fridge, it's time to decorate. So I've just melted some white chocolate in the microwave and I've got some sprinkles. And I'm just going to use those to decorate the top. So I'm just going to dip the ball into the white chocolate and then using my fork, I'm just going to coat it and then I'm going to let it drain off the fork. And just with a skewer, I like to get rid of any of the excess white chocolate. And then that's ready to roll onto a tray lined with um, baking paper. And I'm going to use my sprinkles and cover the top. I think these make them look so pretty. So all that's left to do now is just to wait for them to set, and that is it. You can either eat them on their own or package them into some little gift bags. So that's fun Betty cake balls. Easy.